Ooh, a little bit wobbly. Uh, abundance, deep dive, day 14. And today, oh, Brandy, stop hitting this. Um, today was all about uh, motivation, and I was thrilled to have a different topic than boundaries. <laughs> Although I did get a lot of out of yesterday. Um, motivation, it was an interesting uh, way that he, um, Steve, started talking about it, which was there's kind of like two phases to getting shit done so we come up with a massive list of things that we want to accomplish whether it's goals and we break that down into tasks whatever that looks like for you but kind of mapping out a plan essentially and then the second part is just figuring out how to get it done so forcing yourself to take action um, is the short version and Steve admitted, and I totally agree with this, that the beginning part of that, phase one, is super easy, really, figuring out exactly what needs to get done and what that should look like, blah, blah, blah. It's phase two where we kind of fall short and actually taking the steps and forcing ourselves to do something. You know, there's sometimes where we've got, you know, the same things on our to-do list for years because it, it just ends up being a, a, a shit list of stuff that I don't really want to get done. It's not stuff that I'm good at. It needs to get done, but I really do not want to be the one to do it. And it's interesting that in other times in my life where I've got a massive to-do list of things, like this challenge is one of them, where there's blog posts and videos to edit and, and the whole bit, plus I still have life happening in and around that, I'm, I'm motivated to do all of it. There's, there's hardly anything that I'm like, oh, I really don't wanna get that done. It's just like, okay, whatever. If it's a shit task, you know, break it down into small bite-sized chunks and just do it. So what's the difference then of the things that we don't want to do and the things that kind of seem effortless? Like what's the shift? And for me, it comes down to intention. When I'm doing things that are effortless, they're things that are fun. They're things that the universe has kind of handed me this amazing gift. And then it just becomes a cool challenge. Like let's just do this and enjoy the experience along the way versus you know big things like marketing my business and breaking that into chunks there's things that just are not in alignment with who i am and it feels like a massive chore and it's just something that you know what no matter how i spin this no matter what i can kind of try and make it look like it is not feeling good and that's the the path that my business was taking was I could, I could do a whole bunch of things and, and market it a little bit differently and, and make more money, but at the end of the day, that doesn't float my boat. So why am I spending any more time doing that when I can be doing something like this? You know, yes, we're chasing money, but when we get to the point where our basic needs are kind of taken care of and, and we don't have to make those decisions out of scarcity, then what? So getting to that point of, okay, as long as my basic needs are taken care of, money isn't the motivator for me. I want to make a difference. I want to do something that when, when I'm done, when my life is over and, and my time on this planet is done, I have some kind of legacy. I've made a difference in some people's lives. And if that means sharing some of the shit that I've gone through and sharing some of the experiences and what not to do, like if I can prevent somebody from making some of the same mistakes that I have and, and their progress catapults even further than my own, awesome. And I was actually going through um, this, this person's, I'm following a course that this artist has made for other artists to follow. And I thought, you know, let's just see what he's made and, and go from there, right? Let's just see what he's producing. And it's interesting, some of the things that he's teaching is based on scarcity. You know, you better you copyright your work and make sure that you're protected and, and nobody can steal your shit. And I'm like, I can't prevent some one of my students even from taking the exact stuff that they learned how to do, turn around and do it and make millions of dollars if they wanted to. I can't stop them. I could try and pursue legal action and, and all of that, but the energy wrapped around that, I would much rather take that same amount of energy and create something new, which is exactly what I do. So it's like, you know what? Here you go. Here it is on a silver platter. And that's what I like about Steve is that he's uncopyrighted everything. Unless it was published with Hay House. Um, so he has a book with them. Everything else is up for grabs. And I like that because by the time I'm I'm on to the next thing and, and you're kind of scooping up, you know, the leftovers, the, the breadcrumbs that I've left for you to follow, I'm on, I'm seriously on to the next project and, and doing my next thing. And so is Steve. And it's, it's like, 
if you can take it and you want to do the same thing over and over again and you want to make a million dragonflies and sell, you know, for a million dollars, go for it because I'm really not interested in that. I'm not in it just for the money. I'm in it for for the experience, for something, the challenge, you know, something different, something that I can really sink my teeth into and then satisfy that, that urge and that craving and then just move on. There's a bug crawling on my phone, so I gotta remember to get that off and it's a little bit distracting. Um, so I liked today, it was great. It was like, yeah, this is exactly where I'm at right now is I'm motivated and I realized the difference between being motivated and pushing myself is the alignment piece. If I'm doing something that I really, really love and feels good and just clicks somehow, it doesn't have to make sense, it just feels right, I will go to the ends of the earth to make that happen. I will, I have you know, endless energy for it. I can do it, you know, days and days and days in a row and it doesn't matter to me. And trying to teach my students that same thing, like find that one thing that you just love. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense to anybody else. If you can do it every single day and find something about it that you love every single day, you'll be successful. Money will follow you know opportunities will show up and everything just starts to fall into place the more the more you love it and the more aligned you are with it the more things that show up that kind of fit into that and then when they don't when things show up like I was writing um, and talking about um, my ideal mate so I had done an affirmation video and was calling in my new partner and this person starts messaging me and it was like okay stop <laughs> clear delete clear 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 delete super super nice guy there's nothing wrong with the guy but who I am today and who I'm gonna be a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, is completely different from who I am today. And he will likely be a similar version of that. So he is someone that is very kind and sweet and loving and, and very considerate and just, you know, a really soft, warm-hearted guy. And that's great. 10 years ago, you know, that kind of version of Brandy would have jumped all over that and I would have had a very content life. Now I know better and I'm a little bit older and it's like, I that's not enough for me. I want to keep pushing forward and I want to keep pushing myself into being uncomfortable so I can keep growing and reinventing myself. And that is not something that he's willing to do. I, it's very, his scale of that in the whole course of his life is very, very minimal um, compared to my own. And I will leave him in the dust very, very soon if I was to pursue that. So it becomes awesome. Thank you for showing me the qualities that I'm looking for. But instead of it being like this much that I'm looking for in that person, I want it to be like this much. And he needs to be adventurous and, and supportive of my crazy life as well. So I have to go back and redo that affirmation that he is all of those things and he's supportive of me moving forward at warp speed compared to um, other people and other experiences that he's had. So interesting. That's that's all today was interesting. A little bit of review, a little bit of reinforcement. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy. I'm feeling really good. I've got uh, a couple of face painting gigs coming up, which I'm really excited about that it's not based out of scarcity. So I'm really excited about having fun and goofing around. And um, yeah, so I'm just enjoying the day. It's super hot out again, but it's it's actually not bothering me today. So interesting. All right, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. Looking forward to day 15.